Good morning, everybody. 614 on a Monday morning. And as we look over in Montcalm County uh, in Stanton, you can see some low gray clouds and some fog that's going to burn off. We'll see a beautiful start to this day with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies until the clouds thicken up this afternoon. And then the top weather headline here that I want to drive home. Severe weather is possible today. There may be two rounds, one this afternoon, one this evening. They could both be severe, so we'll monitor that. Then the heat and humidity will build in for Tuesday and Wednesday. And with that heat and humidity, heat index values, heat indices, what it feels like somewhere between about 100 and 105. So take this seriously. This is just ground clutter on the radar site as the more stable air sets up. That's not precipitation. We are dry. We expect to stay dry here through the morning hours. Temperatures 59 degrees Fremont Big Rapids 60 in Holland and Grand Rapids were 63 in Kalamazoo and Coldwater. We pull out to a wider perspective again. I think they're about an hour behind us, so it would be 515. But places like St. Louis and Kansas City, Wichita, Kansas, all in the mid 80s. That's their overnight low. That heat and that humidity is coming this way. I think our overnight low Tuesday night going into Wednesday probably won't fall below about the mid 70s. So hopefully the AC is working, folks. It may be a, a good uh, time at night if you have a pool to take a midnight swim because it'll be certainly be warm enough for that. There have been some storms out over the northern and central plains. We expect more of these to form and come racing in here. There's a warm front that's lined up down here. Typically what happens with these uh, frontal systems, especially with the warm front, we see storms form out here and then they come diving in to the south and east. They follow the curvature of the warm front and there's little disturbances that ride along that front. So the dynamics are in place that some of these storms may form or a line segment or what we call uh, a squall line that comes racing in here and there's strong environmental winds behind it that push it and force that line and that's what could give us the potential of some 75 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but I'm telling you as a meteorologist, the potential is there despite the fact that we've seen this kind of a setup before from the storm prediction center. We have one of the lower threat categories. It's only a slight risk, but it's the overlying or underlying factors that drive or may drive those stronger uh, wind gusts here across the area. Uh, again, here's the severe weather threats. We like to quantify things and you can see to a lesser degree hail, maybe up to about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. That's it. That's bad enough in and of itself, maybe an isolated tornado. But the number one primary threat with the storms that form may be some 75 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts. So our forecast for today, Beautiful day through the morning hours, mostly sunny skies. This sky that you see in this scene is reflective of what we'll see later on today. PM clouds, storms, some of those may be severe. Mid 80s here with a southeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. I just mentioned a warm front. Here it is, and it's out ahead of the warm front here. We see these storms form and then come racing in here and diving to the southeast following that front. We're not sure. We've been watching the forecast models, but we think there may be two rounds of storms. There may actually only end up being one, but we're thinking maybe two rounds, one potentially or possibly in the mid to late afternoon hours here, and then another one that may come racing in during the evening hours here out ahead of the warm front. You can see the warm fronts nudging in here by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. That will lift on through the area, and then we get this hazy, hot, humid, very tropical air mass to set up over our area for both Tuesday, Tuesday night, and into Wednesday and probably even into Wednesday night until this cold front comes through. Sparks another shower or thunderstorm Wednesday night into Thursday and then some cooler, drier air behind that. What will it feel like tomorrow morning? We'll jump ahead because that's when it gets bad. Not a big deal tomorrow morning, but these are feels like temperatures. That warm front will lift on through and look at this. It may zoom into about the 100 to 105 degree range. I wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service for Tuesday and Wednesday will issue heat advisories across the area as a heightened alert and a heightened awareness to take this seriously. So for reasons of possible severe weather and for the heat advisories that may be issued, make sure you connect with us here at Fox 17. Take your smartphone, download the Fox 17 weather app so you can get watches, warnings and advisories, and you can track these storms on radar as well. So 84 degrees today, PM and nighttime storms certainly possible. Some of those may be strong to severe by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Our temperatures are in the low to mid 90s, but the heat index values will be probably about 100 degrees or higher, maybe a shower thunderstorm in the morning on Thursday, 85 degrees there, and then certainly cooler, drier, more comfortable air mass for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's weather. Let's check traffic coming up on 619. Here's Rob.